Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Muppets Now! Yay! Though that was... sorry. Hi-ho. Anyway, uh, this is the uh, modern take on the classic Muppet show. Now, of course, if you've seen the classic Muppet show, which is now all five seasons on Disney Plus, you will notice that it's kind of modeled after old-school vaudeville stage performances in a theater with a live audience kind of thing. Well, today, especially during a, a pandemic, um, people aren't going out, and um, everything is pretty much experienced on video online, whether it's just watching videos on YouTube or other video sites, uh, or chatting through Zoom and whatever else, whether, whatever tool you use to, to communicate, whether it's for work or friendship or anything else. Um, and, and honestly, this was probably all made in 2019, even though it came out in 2020. Uh, there's one season, there's six episodes. Uh, even though it was made in 2019, they, don't, they kind of, you get to see a lot of Muppets in boxes, kind of like your usual Zoom call or any video you happen to watch today, if you're born in the 21st century. <laughs> we, we older people tend to watch television. Everybody younger than us seems to watch it on a device. So, anyway, this is kind of, kind of a what if. Uh, the, the format of the original Muppet Show was done in 2020, so, or now 2021. Um, it has a, Swedish chef, a segment with Swedish Chef. It has, um, he's cooking against Danny Trejo in one of them. So they have different celebrities come in. Danny has his own taco, a chain of taco places, especially here in LA and around. Uh, so Swedish Chef goes up against him and how to make tacos. So, uh, and they actually have a mustache rivalry going on during that. So there's there's lots of little little modern updates to these things, uh, obviously with celebrities uh, throughout, just like in the old days, the old and long ago days. Um, uh, there is a, a Miss Piggy segment. Uh, she's doing fashion and style and or lifestyle. The uh, graphics team kind of left off the L E at the end. She's a pig, so. She has a uh, guest like Tay Diggs comes in and does hot yoga with her. And uh, Linda Cardellini uh, talks style and fashion with her. And uh, Miss Picky doesn't take anybody else's recommendations other than her own. So why she's on there? Well, she's just there. Um, but I love Linda Cardellini. Love her. <clears throat> so uh, Freaks and Geeks. Among other things, she's also married to Hawkeye in, in the MCU. Anyway, <laughs> this series, uh, it's, it's just got a lot of the hallmarks. Uh, Professor Honeydew and Beaker doing a science experiment with a brand new Beaker as well, kind of fighting for the rivalry of the original Beaker. Uh, kind of funny. Uh, there's, you know, little bits with Fozzie and Gonzo, and, uh, you know, Kermit does a, a celebrity interview with RuPaul, and, yeah, celebrities will pop up throughout randomly as themselves and uh so it's not just like one celebrity like it used to be elton john was our guest this week and elton john is in every skit or whatever or musical number there's i don't recall any unless i blacked out i don't recall any musical numbers in this series so far um but yeah there's other people uh aubrey plaza is going to show up at some point uh, a handful of other people, Seth Rogen, uh, things like that. So you'll, 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 there's a number of people who are pro Muppet that are more than happy to be on this show. So I'm more than happy to see them, especially Aubrey Plaza. So I'm going to get around to watching all six of these episodes. I only watched two so far, and uh, I had a great time with them. It's a, uh, it's a lot of more modern comedic sen sen sensibilities than what was in the '70s. It's a little bit different. But it still has the same kind of Muppet attitude that uh, that it had back in the day, and uh, it's just a different format. So think of it, hopefully, as a Muppets 2.0, a 
or at this point, 4 or 5.0. I don't know. They keep trying to reinvent the Muppets just a slight bit every single time, including that ABC show that ran for like half a season um, a little while back. It was meant to be like, it, it was shot like Modern Family where everybody would be doing cutaways and talking to the camera. Um, yeah. So uh, to me, this is fun. If you're a Muppets fan, obviously you're going to want to watch this. Uh, watch the old one and then come and watch this. It may not compare. I don't know, but uh, it definitely has more modern pacing and sensibilities. And it's all wrapped in a concept where Scooter, who is the heart behind everything, he's kind of, on The Muppet Show, even though Kermit was the leader, Scooter kept everything running. So Scooter's in charge of uploading all these new segments, all these new videos and, and skits and everything else. And everybody, while he's doing that, are like, here, we got more ideas. Let's, uh, oh, could you change this? And I got notes and... So he's frustratedly getting everything done, and that's how they wrap each episode. They start and finish it uh, with a little comedic bit uh, involving that kind of thing. So far, at least the first two episodes. I don't know what the rest are like. We'll see. Um, definitely I will see. So uh, Again, Muppet fans, there's one more piece of Muppets to, to take in uh, when you're not watching the original for nostalgia purposes. But, so that, that's pretty much all i got to say about the Muppets that I love so much. Um, but, now it's time to pick tomorrow's episode. But we're not going to do it randomly this time, because you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is the premiere of Marvel's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just consciously picking that one. So, and actually, and probably before I go to bed tonight... I'll be watching it uh, at midnight Pacific time. We'll be crashing the uh, Disney Plus servers again, more than likely, because we're all going to be logging on at midnight or 3 a.m. East Coast and everywhere in between to watch the series. And, uh, yeah, <clears throat> whenever I get a chance to watch the entire episode tonight, I will then record one of these right after, as I always do, after watching it. And... Uh, uh, hopefully it won't be annoying my neighbors at 2 a.m. Don't want that. But I'll try not to talk too loudly. Hmm. Seems like I'm whispering already. Um, but yeah, so till later tonight, I'll be watching that. I might even put it up a little bit early tomorrow. So catch that to be one of the first people. Hmm. It'll probably have spoilers in it, but I'll warn you beforehand. So uh, that's what we're going to watch tomorrow on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier from Marvel. A Disney Plus original. We'll see you here then. See you here then.